welcome back or welcome if you are new here my name is May and today I wanted to share with you guys a kind of review slash comparison video I recently got a new zippered card holder for my birthday and I've been using it non-stop for the past more or less full month so I wanted to compare it to one that I rave about all the time I've actually gotten messages from some of you that have mentioned that you've added this piece into your collection as you've seen some of the videos that I posted about it so that makes me so so happy because I know you're gonna love this little item so without further ado I'm gonna get right into it and today we are going to be comparing the Burberry versus the YSL zippered card case now I wanted to start off by letting you know the details of each piece individually I'll make sure to put the exact name of each piece down below because it is like a paragraph long so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the measurements for this one and I do have them written down here so it is 13 by 8 by 2 centimeters in width right here because it does have a little gosset and then in inches it's 5.1 by 3.1 and 0.7 inches in the width. Now this one here does have a total of five card slots and it does come in a total of nine different color options as well. So you have a ton of neutrals, but you also have a nice selection of colors in case you like to add a little bit of pop into your handbags. Also, this one is a full leather piece. So it is with that beautiful pebbled leather that YSL is very known for. And then it has a very nice gold tone YSL logo here, along with a gold zipper up on the top. And then last but not least, I did want to compare the prices of both. So this one here currently is 395 US dollars. Now jumping over to the Burberry one, the measurements are 13 by 7.5 centimeters or 5.1 by 3 inches. This one here doesn't have any gosset on the outside that you can see, but once you open it, it does give you a little bit of extra room in there. Now on this Burberry piece, we do have a total of three card slots and then there is this extra card slot here if you did want to use it. It is in a coated canvas throughout and then it does have this little piece of leather that you can see here. And then the lining inside is of a nylon material. And this little cutie does come in two color options. It will show the logo of Burberry throughout both. The only thing that changes is the leather color and you have this beautiful camel as one choice and then a black option as well. And this one is currently retailing at 350 US dollars. So really quick, I wanted to share like the main differences that I've noticed, especially from using both of these. Obviously, as you can see, this one is a canvas coated material, so it is a little bit stiffer. Now this one is full leather all throughout, even the interior as well. Another difference that I've noticed is that the YSL does have just a top zippered compartment as you can see so the zipper just runs from one end to the other while the Burberry does give you an option of going a little bit more towards the side so in that case it does give you a little bit more room to be able to put things in a little bit more comfortably and then another major difference is the card slots so as I mentioned this one does have five card slots while the Burberry only offers technically three and then you do have this bottom piece here. I haven't used that bottom piece to put any of my cards. I do feel like when I fill up the three at the top, it takes enough space that it makes this one a little bit stiff to get in and out of. All right, so I went ahead and stuffed this one to the brim. I pretty much added everything and anything I could find laying around just to share with you guys how it looks once I have it all packed. Now I did add in here a few business cards and then some credit cards. I put a lot of business cards just to make it seem like they were credit cards because you know business cards are a little bit slimmer. Now with that being said, it is as if I had about eight credit card with cards in here or if you just wanted to go ahead and just put business cards, you can fit a total of 12. So 12 business cards with two extra credit cards. And then I also put three bills folded up, which I magically had in my wallet. So this is it right here. And then if you had a couple of extra change or anything like that, you can also slide it in there. Now the zipper does close. I do have to say that at first when I did get this one, the zipper was a little bit stiff to play around with, but I guess it was just a matter of breaking it in. Now it opens and closes very, very smoothly as you can see. And then what I did over here was that I placed 
two in the top part and then I placed my ID in the bottom one here. Now, as you can see, even with that, it is pretty much full. And I personally just think that if I were to add a card at the bottom piece, it would just be really tight. You could if you wanted to, but just keep in mind that you might struggle a little bit to take it out. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to show you, I would have to probably slide it up in order to bring that card out of, you know, the, I don't want to show you any of my information because these are my actual cards. But it does make you struggle a little bit in order to remove it from that front pocket. But if we do keep it as I originally packed it, then you can take out your cards very easily. Like if I needed to use the top one, I could. And then the one right in the bottom, I could as well. If I needed to take out my ID, I could easily just slide it out and that's out as well. So basically from what I've seen of how I've played around with the Burberry card case, I would say you can double up on these three slots right here, not use the front one. If you wanted to, you could probably add just one more thin card. And then you can use the zippered compartment to put in anything else that you might need. As I said, if you carry a lot of cash, you can obviously pack it in there. This will fit coins absolutely fine. Or if you just needed to place business cards that you need to have handy, then you can also use the zippered compartment for that. Overall, it being a fully canvas piece and just offering a lining interior, I think that it offers a lot of space to be able to put things that you would normally carry even in like a full large continental wallet and place them in here and still be very comfortable, but while being a little bit more compact. Now let's get into the YSL Fragments card case. And if you are new here, you won't know this, but I am obsessed with this little compact wallet. I love this layout overall, hence why my sister-in-law got me the Burberry one for my birthday and I have a few other ones in my collection that kind of have this same layout. I just love the fact that you have the card case or a card holder kind of look, but then you also have a nice little zippered compartment to add anything else that you might need to carry. So back to this cutie, I packed her a little bit more than I normally carry her. As you guys can see, I just had to like rummish around cards that I had because I really don't carry a lot of cards. I have a credit card of choice, a bank card, my ID, my health insurance, and my husband's Tesla key. I know, don't judge me. I don't have the mobile app. I'm so like weird about technology at times. Sometimes I love it and sometimes I just don't want to adapt to all the changes. <laughs> Let me know if I'm the only one. My husband is always like, you're such an old lady when it comes to technology and I crack up with him. But anyways, so that's basically all I carry. And then I do have maybe a dollar bill here and there or just like little cards that I just carry, but nothing crazy as like seven or eight or 10 credit cards that I need. And then I do have also some business cards from my husband and my mom. So that's pretty much what I doubled up and added here just so you guys can see that it does fit. So these are the same amount of cards that I had in the Burberry card holder. Now I do have a full in-depth review about this piece. I'll make sure to link that down below for you in case you are interested in this layout or just this piece in general. I do go in there into more detail about what like can really, really fit and how you can pack it to the max. So that's on that video. But on this one, I just kind of wanted to do a quick overview just so that you had an idea that you can use the same amount of things on this one as you can in the Burberry. Now, one of the major cons that I've noticed about the YSL card holder versus the Burberry is that if I put the same amount of cards inside as I do on the Burberry, the leather here kind of tends to stretch. So what happens is that the cards inside become very tight in those slots. So it's very difficult for you to be able to take them out. I don't know if you can tell, but I did put my ID in the front one. And then as I tried to slide out the ones from the second compartment, I just, I honestly cannot, you guys. Like, it is a struggle in there. I would have to remove the ID from the first one and then slide out the ones from the second one. So just keep that in mind. If you are planning on putting a good amount of things inside of the zipper compartment, then these slots back here are just gonna become really difficult for you to slide in cards and remove it. 
and that is both whether you stack them or whether you leave one card per slot so here we have one card per slot just wanted to share now this one here slides out fairly easily because it is a slimmer card but the other ones would be like your debit card or your credit card and if i tried to get in there it's still very hard for me to slide it out because of the fact that i stuffed the inside of the zippered compartment so much that it made this leather part kind of expand and then it just takes away room when you put in the cards i hope i'm making sense i know that if you have a card case you understand what i mean as you either layer more items or put more pieces into any of the card slots it's just the piece itself it's going to expand and then it's going to take room from those little slots that your cards would go in so that's why i typically just carry what I normally carry, which as I said, would be a couple of dollar bills, maybe an extra gift card that I might have, and then some business cards. So I would typically take out everything else that I added on here just for the video purpose. And as you can see, once I remove that, it is a lot slimmer. So it's just a lot easier for me to take out that card. I can actually even slide my finger into the slot in order to remove that card. So. It's just a matter of what it is that you want the compact case for. Personally, they're perfect for my lifestyle because I don't carry so much. So that is it. I just wanted to do a quick kind of like review what fits inside of these two cute little pieces. If you aren't new here, you know that I rave about these little style of card holders. I just personally think that they're the ones that I gravitate to the most because they give me the option of the zipper compartment in case I needed to add something else. Now, I was thinking about letting you know which one I love most. And to be honest with you, I love them both the same. I just love the silhouette of these. I think this one is very classic and very understated in a way because you just have the plain leather and then the YSL logo here in the front. And then if you wanted something a little bit more loud or a little bit more extra, you do have the Burberry one. But even then, I think it's still a very classic, cute little piece to add. Now, if you have these type of card holders, let me know down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on them. As I said, I really gravitate more towards those than the regular card holder. I actually have my Louis Vuitton reverse monogram one, which I haven't used in a couple of months. I just grabbed my Polen one that I added last year and used it this weekend just so that I can give everything a little bit of use and I can switch around my pieces. But my most go-to are the ones with the zipper. I just think that they're so much more comfortable. And as I said, you can easily transition all the things that you carry in a long continental wallet into one of these cute little pieces in case you wanna be more compact because either you wanna carry less things or you're just going into a smaller purse where a long continental wallet would just not fit. Now, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are new around here, please consider subscribing. I love talking about luxury pieces, handbags, a little bit of fashion, some travel, a lot of Amazon essentials. I am a huge Amazon fan. So if you love that type of content, I would love for you to join the family. As always, thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to come back and watch or just continue watching all my crazy little videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I hope to catch you guys all in my next video. Bye everyone.